into blouses. And then I'm gonna go and make another drink. And then I'll spell they do some decorating. I don't know whether I want to do any decorating. It's raining. Maybe I should change and put my uh I don't know I don't think we've even got a got a map or anything. <laughs> I've got a fossil. I've got this one. And then I've got the... My sea creature. That was a bit loud. Okay, we've got one of those. Got the sea urchin. Sure. Ah, the sea urchin, the unabashed goth of the ocean floor. Indeed, with its mane of dark hued spikes, it looks for all the world as if it might front a punk rock band. Perhaps its more demure relatives, the sea cucumber and the sea star, disapprove of its outlandish look. It would certainly explain why sea stars gobble up sea urchins. Wow, every chance they get, you'd think it'd be the other way around, wouldn't you? <laughs> but worry not for our spiky friend, its venomous spines are an effective deterrent to many a predator. <laughs> and then there are its sticky tube feet, which it uses to manoeuvre out of harm's way. <laughs> Tube feet, I say. What will this salty rebel think of next? And there you have it. Fascinating stuff, don't you? I'm fine, actually. There you go, I didn't know that. I didn't think, like, starfish sea stars look more... I don't know, gentle than a uh, sea urchin, but apparently no. My character actually looks saked. <laughs> I'm gonna go and change her clothes, I think. Even a hat looks so. Oh, should have put, should have put my fish in. <laughs> I'm gonna get my fish.